Hello traders, it's Andy with Trade Ideas. It is November the 9th on a Thursday and you can see the strength we've had in this market and we're actually gapping up again today. So uh, the bulls have definitely been uh, in charge over the last couple of weeks, but uh, let's see what happens. We are getting to kind of a, a critical level here and we are well overextended. I still think you can be patient. Look for your setups, look for your pullbacks. And speaking of setups, uh, I'm going to talk about a couple of stocks that I mentioned yesterday. I am in both of these and uh, looking to maybe add if they can break through this range uh, path. Uh, looks like it's gapping up real close to that, um, uh, you know, kind of breakout level. Uh, this may have some catching up to do to a lot of the ARC stocks. Another one is a sign, very similar chart. Okay, you can see there uh, just above all its major may major moving average, excuse me, and if it takes out that five-day high, I'll be adding to that one as well. Uh, CSC, SCS, I should say, beautiful setup right there. You can see it came down, tagged its 20 period and its 10 period and popped off of it yesterday. I'm looking for a move above that 1140 level and CSC. Tesla's still on my list, even though it's gapping down today, uh, I am liking this potential for a huge move. You know, if it can take out uh, yesterday's high, and especially these, this uh, 226.50 level. Uh, so keeping an eye on Tesla, maybe trying to catch up with some of its uh, other big boys out there that's uh, really taken off uh, some of those big tech stocks. Let's see, one other here is Al OWL, and just like that setup, I would rather catch it breaking above that level. It is gapping up this morning. Looks like it may want to attempt this 387 level. I don't like chasing and buying at those levels because that's when you get some of these big pullbacks. But uh, anyway, there's some setups for you. There's a lot more if you have trade ideas. Have a great one. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.